So, uh, you play a lot of Link. Correct, Amundo. So, what, what do you think about this matchup? Based <laughs> off of it? Honestly, oh man, I don't see a lot of it. Thing about Link here is he is he is heavily slept on. I well, I don't think he's heavily slept on. I think when people think about the most optimal Link to main, it is Young Link as one of the best character, one of the best of the three, just because he kind of has best of all the worlds. Where Link doesn't have speed, he makes up for just raw damage. Like he does a lot of knockback things, like boomerang to fair, things like down tilt to raw back air. He has a lot of opportunities to trap his opponent, but also having great knockback. And an excellent neutral air, probably better than Young Link's almost. Honestly, in this matchup in particular, it's more of how Link wants to play. You see him angling his shield upwards. Why? Because if Colonies play a, plays a little bit over aggressive, crosses him up poorly, he can go for that up B out of shield, which is an excellent DP for punishing opponents. You can also go for things like neutral air out of shield, which of course, as I mentioned, it's really great out of shield as well. Uh, if you're unable to tech Young Link's, I'm sorry, if you're unable to tech Link's Nair, just like HBox did, Link can get some really, really nasty combos, especially off a of missed tag. But most importantly, never forget that Link does have excellent combo opportunities with that Z drop bomb uh, that he does have. I believe they're called the, uh, the Izak bomb fair loops. Very, very difficult to pull off, but when you do them, they are excellent. But X2, he's doing a really, really good job of just playing that mid-range and that general range, which you want to be with Link, and always want to stay at with your opponent. He even has colonies holding shield because he knows if there's a boomerang, there's a fair, then there's a bomb. There's opportunities where just X2 just does a really good, excellent job just having something in front of colonies to stop his movement. And that's what boomerang does for all Link's... That's my, that's my speech, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> yeah, um... I didn't say it very myself, honestly. Uh, especially in a situation like this where Colony is behind. He uh, also kind of struggles in the fact that he just doesn't have as much range as uh, as Link. So he's constantly being put in these positions where Adult Link is favored. Just especially now that he's like pretty much forced to approach. Oh my goodness, like that F tilt, man. He like pretty much just jumped right into him, trying to get something started with one of his aerials. Those are great, just they just don't have the range that, uh, you know, Lynx does. Yeah. What do you think about range? Link has more range in terms of his aerials. His forward has a little bit longer. His jab three is actually longer than Young Link's. But he loses a lot of that speed. But in return, like I said, he gets a lot of that knockback, but also just raw beast damage that he has. It's almost similar to how I would describe, you know, Lucina and Marth, just with the exception that Young Link is the better version of Smash 4 Link, if you will. Excellent Ooh. call out with the forwarder because that bomb is a constant trap at the ledge. X who takes game one. Didn't just take game one. He took game one with the three stock. Yes. Very, very, very dominant display from X who. And uh, yeah, Connie's man, he's going to have to really try to wake up here because I did feel for a moment in that match, uh, that X who was not in control of the, the flow of the game ever since taking the first stock. Yeah, yeah. Good call, good call well, on Forto. Well, actually, Connie's SD the first stock, but He still, did, he did. He uh, good call out on Forto, because like I mentioned, Forto, bomb is in place at the ledge. That's the difference between Link and Young Link. Young Link's edge guarding with bomb is timed to about six seconds from when the bomb is dropped. While Link has a constant threat with bomb, he can explode it, he can read an opportunity for a jump, a roll, uh, get up on shield, you know, a normal get up. There's a lot of things that Link can do with bomb, and specifically, and what an excellent opportunity for him to go for forward tilt, because it does have a couple lasting frames. It's a really good, in terms of range, and excellent on knockback, especially at the ledge. It is very, very strong. Yeah, uh, I don't know, man. I feel like Link's tools, like his his kid in general, like I can't think of a move that he has that isn't good. <laughs> if yeah. I'm gonna be honest, like, no. I feel like all of his moves have a use. A, a lot of what separates the good links from the bad links is understanding proper link tech, but also the opportunity to just understand the neutral. 
if you're excellent at neutral, I do solely believe that you are excellent. You can be excellent with Link because there's a lot of moves that he just has in the neutral that can be really good. Near out of shield, even even if his jab is really, really slow, it's really good to call an opponent for going for spot dodge. And some opponents aren't really used to jab three being the longest range. Things like forward tilt, up tilts are pretty decent on cross up. There's a lot of tools that, like you said, strikes Link just has. It's just that when you start to put the tier list and the meta, it does favor Young Link being top 15 with Link being a little bit less than Young Link. When I actually do in fact believe Link is probably as good, if not maybe slight, possibly slightly better than Young Link. That's my opinion. Uh, don't take my word for it, man. It's all on you, but a lot. there's a reason why if you see a Young Link top 64, top eight, best believe he's showing up with some excellent Link play because that's what it takes to get here in top 64 of MSM. Online. Yeah, uh, yeah, I haven't heard of uh, X who before this match, but he definitely demonstrates a uh, master of his character right now, especially in this matchup. I love that up smash out of shield. He's actually been punishing Connie's jump ins pretty consistently with that, and that's really scary for Connie's, especially at high percent, because you already know he wants to get in with these nares, like back there ones. Forward air, like he wants to use like that great air mobility to just kind of bully Link when he can, but X2 is not really letting it happen easily at all. Yeah, and I'm definitely with you. I have not heard of X2 at all. Looking at the Smash Data.gg for X2, for all you guys wondering, he is kind of a relatively new player coming out as his first online appearance here in actually way back in, I believe it is, uh, hold up, I'm trying to get the months right, October. Uh, so his first online appearance was October, and since then he's been doing excellently well. Small Fry Saga, he won first out of 30 attendants, and then getting 49th at Xanadu Online is definitely no easy feat. He's definitely won another first place here at Baby Spec number four, even having a Min Min and Zero Suit Samus. This player uh, definitely, he's got something, he's got something. Definitely, a, possibly somebody's alternate account for Link. I think it might, I was going to say, Arrow, I think it might be orange. I'm not sure. It's somebody's alternate account for sure. Oh, I see. Yeah. I don't really know that many of uh, the Link players, so I wouldn't know what his actual account is to begin oh, with. There's, there's, there's quite a few. I, I would love to name them all because they're all very, very great. Uh, there's players like Lonesome, Cylentor, Orange is one of them, just to name a few here off the bat. Okay. Uh, up throw? Not enough. Still a lot of control right now on the stage, especially with this remote bomb as well. Ooh, okay, Connie sneaks in his up air of his own, almost gets sort of that down air, but he's all on top of him with it, it regardless. Man, I, man, I don't know, Connie just looked like he just wasn't ready for that, but Fair one into the up smash. Dude, Fair one's just very, very strong follow up tool for the young Link. Yeah, yeah. Right. Fair one, Connie, you usually want to fast follow it just so you can get the other hit up opportunity from it. Can Link uh, use that as well, since he has the same animation? On yeah, but it's not really true. I've I've seen a lot of people escape of it, so it's it just I think it's a little bit dependent for some characters. I don't think it's true. I know young I know both both young Link and Link have bare one combos, so that's also one thing to take into consideration. A little bit of a neutral scrum here. Both players getting caught with neutral air. Good stuff on Exo to throw the bomb downward, cover the platform. Not much to cover there, but still good enough for him to just have that opportunity to even grab the bomb backwards. Cross up on there, missed opportunity with Boomerang that would have led to a forward air. Just sharking him on these platforms. Oh, nope, he was waiting for an air dodge, but uh, Exo did not give it to him. Okay. Yeah, look at that, you see that again once again. See, that's the thing for Colonies, you don't see Colonies no longer go for a lot of those aerials, those forward airs, because you see Link specifically angle that shield upward. If he misses an opportunity, then it is going to be an up B punish from X2, and that'll be really tough on Colonies, especially being at 112. May not take the stock from center stage, but it's a big warning sign. Ooh, oh, there's that tech chase again. That arrow is so good on stages like this. It just pops you right on the platform. You miss a tech, that down air is definitely going to steal the stock. Great awareness from Colonies to find this lead here when it was looking really rough for him to maintain any type of uh, you know, decent lead in this match. Yeah, all, the, all oh. the projectiles. See, that's good because boom, uh, I, was, oh, I, I yeah. can't even finish my sentence. 
XU demonstrates what Link can do at a range, especially having Bomb to cover opportunities at the ledge, but also having an excellent with Arrow, because if you throw it at a good range, it'll force your opponent to go for a long recovery, in which you can throw the Bomb, and then even cover that with the Bomb, and then force your opponent to possibly jump. A lot of options that Link can just cover with just those two projectiles, especially at a distance. Definitely. Wild Nair Wars right now. Young Link gets the better into the stick there, though. Okay, I don't think Connie wants to like, hold on to this bomb for very long. Nice. Oh, okay, he jumps away from the bomb, but he's getting Oof. pressure in the corner. Doesn't fall prey to the explosion, though. Yeah, and I that was good, too. because like, like pressure, though, in the... In the Front of the stage. Yeah, and that was scary. so good because he almost forced him to jump and then X2 covered that preemptively with a forward and missed it, but still good to understand the pressure he just applied. Definitely. Neutral there. Yeah, what oh. a great off stage. See, this is scary. I mean he has the <laughs> percent lead, but Young Link's way is just nowhere near Link's and the race definitely benefits Adult Link much more. Oh most so... definitely. Never forget okay. that Adult Link, he actually is a heavyweight in this game. Oh, air dodging, not enough. Good to pass, oh, good for him to toss the bomb down, because if Young Ling tries to make an approach with up air, that will be clanked by the bomb, and then even then, X2 can actually go for a down or two as well, or land differently. <sighs> Connie's just sweating bullets right now. I know oh, it. Oh, he is Ooh, sweating. He on top of him. Okay, okay, barely living, but Force. he's at a terrible spot. Air dodges past the bomb, I think. Oh my yep. God, he's had to shield every single bomb explosion. But he's just looking for one tiny opening. I know he wants this down tilt. Down tilt up B might be enough, or down tilt up there. Okay, gets the back out of shield. Has him off stage now. Bomb snipe. Ooh, the reverse oh. up B, but no oh. confirm for oh, Colonies. Oh, man, he dropped it. Oh, there's the shield. bomb. Okay, he gets control of it, though. See, and, and Colonies can't get aggressive with every aerial. You see that he's still angling that shield. You can see that he's waiting for him to make that play. But the finally, Colonies with the four oh, throw will get God. the stock and game. Left. 50 seconds left on the clock. Colonies somehow clutches it out. Very, very, very scary position to be in. One little mistake from him, if uh, X who capitalized, would have been the stock for sure. And he's it, facing that kill throw. Yeah, yeah. For X who, it was really difficult too because it's one of those situations where you have to be careful against him when got high percents because he can call you out with a forward, he can call you out with an air, and those are two opportunities for him to actually take care of the stock and take the game here, pushing this game three narrative. But that's what Exu was very well understanding of. I get hit by nair, I get hit by bomb, I get hit by fire arrow, I get hit by boomerang, and it could very much spell the game for colonies, and he really understood that. Finally, colonies understood the you know, preemptive pressure he had on. I'm just gonna call him Sue at this point on Sue, and he was just able to just go for the grab forward throw at high percent, and that was excellently demonstrated of the pressure that both of these players and both of these characters can apply to anybody. I was getting water, but uh, yeah, a very very close game. Um. I don't know, it could have gone either way. It's so scary at the end. So Darren Neutral is a really interesting choice that Linku is really talking about here and specifically, which I'm not, I, I'm not the perfect person to theorize this as well, but Darren Neutral is really good because it does have a long lasting hitbox, but specifically for Sue, he's always tossing bomb downwards. And if you do clank with the bomb with Link's dare, it does last a little bit longer from what I've seen a lot of players demonstrate. There are some times where Dare off stage is really good because, like I said, it lasts long. Kind of something similar to Cloud, it's just not as, you know, less and not as much as and like as Clouds down there. But it's really good to kind of challenge opponents. Like you said, you can hop over the shield and even at times get a second there or shield poke. It's got a lot of damage. So to speak, you can kind of do like a preemptive pogo with Dare. Especially when you're high up. Link's Dare is really good, but it's, a, yeah, like, like Arrow says, it's normally bad, but it's a surprise option that actually works sometimes. Especially when you're high up in the air. And the way that Sue is covering it is by throwing the bomb downwards. So that's an X, that's a smart play. He's looking to cover that downer, but also secure his landing, and it's really good. Three, Let's yeah. go on to game three, guys. Okay, so winner of this will get to the top eight winner side. It means a lot to both these players, especially Connie's, I'll say. He's like, been trying to get in this top eight MSM quite some time, just slowly been eluding him 
uh, every single time here. But yeah, this is already a huge, huge start here for uh, X who jilled him for like what five up airs there. Ninety three yeah. is huge with the amount of power that Link has. Colony's is already finding himself in a scary position as soon as the match starts. Something else that I gotta respect from uh, X who's plays. Oh, I'm trying to shield almost enough. I yeah, he's about not, how... He does not let Connie's jump in on his shield uh, Never. unsafely for free. He's mm -hmm. always there for the up smash. He, but, Connie's uh, understood that these first two games, right, you see the shield angled upwards for an excellent reason, and it's curtains for anybody who tries to do a really bad cross. So unfortunately, Sue had the wrong call out there trying to go for grab out of shield. He did, a, did it right the first time when he went for forward air because forward air had enough cooldown. Yeah, it's interesting to see his defense being so strong because I really feel like Young Link can destroy Link with the combos. We have the opportunity. Oh my god, we the second swing of the force smash. Would have been up to kill, but he's just barely missing that. Connie's trying to spread the needle with these approaches right now. It's very scary for him because if he just misspaces slightly, he's dead for sure. <laughs> but there's the forward air to falling right on top of him. Even from a center stage, it's enough to kill. I'm going to tell you guys straight up, this guy watches a lot of T. Even T does that forward air because the second hit of forward air can be really difficult to actually time myself against. Yeah, his use of normals is very good. Definitely mm -hmm. reminds me of T a lot. Excellent call, nice. Boomerang there. Wanted to stop Colonies from making an approach after his roll. No shield angle. I think he understands he's got Colonies pressured. You see why he goes for the down air there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's actually pretty difficult to punish that out of shield, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, because if you try to go for a jump out of shield, you oh. may get called by it, but Colonies with a deep end forward air. Yeah, it had to go deep for that kill. He does not want to fall too far behind. It's just crazy to me to see how good uh, Exu's defense is because Young Link's combos on Link are pretty devastating. It's just um, Colonies is rarely getting an opening. This is the first time we've seen a big string from him in the set so far. But yeah. for the most part, yeah, it's just playing around it so well. Neutral air, no oh. tech. Nice, and he tries yeah. to kind of call out that tech with another second jump for another neutral air. Good, good change up though. He didn't get the execution on that, but still good. Using a shield. tech versus a link is very scary. Oh, Oof. yeah, that was smart. That was smart. He saw the tech, unfortunately, so he kind of stopped himself there. Okay, tags him out of the air with a forward air of his own. Oh, nice catch with the double forward air. Okay, nice. It's the nair. Oh, no, a B. Definitely needed that to close out the edge guard. Okay, tech rolls in, but the boomerang saves him. That could have been really, really bad for Colonies. Super close for both players. Of course, the Link has a slight advantage because he has the kill power and the weight. Another forward air right in Colonies' face. That fastball forward air just proving to be very effective against him, it seems. Okay. Oh, my God. It tells him to sit down with that down air spike. Doesn't even let him sneak in a forward air of his own. Connie's he wants this kill right now. He already he, knows he, it. the threat of a rage link is huge. Oh, most definitely. Okay. It's an arrow snipe, but he can't follow up right now. He's too far away. Yeah, X is perfectly fine. Just trading, just, you know, walling out colonies. His his hitboxes are much bigger. That's Any little thing. hit he gets here is threat of killing. He's just so strong. Yeah. 150 calls oh, up the landing the with juggle? another upper. Upper stays okay, another alive. one. Yeah, up air has a lasting hitbox here, but Colony's finally with the forward air to kind of give himself a little bit of space to breathe here. 86%. Sue oh, has terrible such down a huge lead. Oh man, these down airs are flying from Connie's, but they are not finding their mark. He is swinging! He does not care about your life at all. Third time's the charm. You're not going to punish this. JV from Exu. He oh, yeah, said, yeah, and you know Connie's is upset about that. I can't you know believe Connie's it. upset about that. I can't that believe Forder, it. That four smash one is not like that bad on shield, dude. I Especially can't. if you're expecting him to do the second swing.